Today I want to share a key lesson with you, a lesson that has the power to transform not only how you view the world, but also how you live within it every single day. This lesson is about understanding peace, truly grasping what it means to act with peace in our daily lives. You see, acting with peace isn't about ignoring the noise of the world or pretending that challenges don't exist. It's about maintaining a serene heart and a clear mind in the midst of life's storms. It's about choosing your response rather than being swept away by the current of external events. Let's delve into this, shall we? Picture two sailors navigating the vast ocean. Suddenly, a storm approaches, bringing with it towering waves and howling winds. One sailor panics, his actions driven by the fear and chaos of the storm. His mind becomes as turbulent as the sea around him. The other sailor, however, remains calm. He acknowledges the storm, yet his actions are measured. His decisions clear. The difference? The second sailor understands that the storm outside doesn't have to create a storm inside. This, my friends, is the essence of acting with peace. It's understanding that life will throw storms our way. That's inevitable. But whether these storms disturb our inner peace, that's a choice we make. Now let's explore the distinction between external events and our internal responses. The world around us is in constant motion, filled with events we can't control. A harsh word from a colleague, an unexpected bill, a plan that falls apart. These are the external events, the pebbles thrown into the pond of our lives creating ripples across the water. But here's where the magic happens, our internal response. This is where we have power. We can't stop the pebble from being thrown, but we can control the ripples. We do this by choosing our response, by deciding that no matter the size of the pebble, it will not disturb the calm waters of our mind. Let me share a story that beautifully illustrates this principle. During World War II, Viktor Frankl a psychiatrist and a prisoner in a Nazi concentration camp discovered something remarkable. Even in the harshest of conditions, he found that he could retain a sense of inner peace by choosing his response to the suffering around him. Frankel realized that while he couldn't control his environment, he had the ultimate freedom to choose his attitude towards it. His story is a powerful testament to the strength of the human spirit and the true meaning of peace. It's not about the absence of chaos. It's about the presence of tranquility within chaos. So how can we maintain peace in challenging situations? It starts with awareness, recognizing our ability to choose our response. When faced with a difficult situation, take a moment to pause, breathe. Remember, you are the sailor in the midst of the storm, and your calmness is your strength, Next, cultivate gratitude. Even in the toughest times, there's always something to be thankful for. Focusing on these aspects can help anchor your peace. And finally, practice empathy. Sometimes our peace is disturbed, not by what happens to us, but by our interactions with others. By striving to understand and empathize, we can maintain our inner calm and even spread it to those around us. In conclusion, acting with peace is a journey one that requires practice, patience, and persistence, but the rewards are immeasurable. As we learn to navigate life's storms with a serene heart and a clear mind, we not only transform our own lives, but also become beacons of peace in a turbulent world. Let's embark on this journey together, not as solitary travelers, but as companions sharing in the collective strength of our tranquility. Remember, the power to choose peace lies within each of us. In every moment, with every breath we take. You see, acting with peace isn't about silencing the chaos of the world, nor is it about hiding from the realities that unsettle us. Rather, it's about standing in the midst of life's storms and choosing to respond with a tranquility that comes from within. Let's delve into what it means to act with peace in our daily lives. Imagine you're in a boat on a rapidly flowing river heading straight for a waterfall, panic sets in, doesn't it? Now, consider two choices, succumb to fear, letting it steer, 
or take control, guiding the boat with a steady hand. Acting with peace is like choosing to steer calmly, even when fear grips your heart. This brings us to a vital distinctions, external events versus internal responses. Life in its essence will always throw challenges our way just as the river flows unbidden. The essence of living peacefully doesn't lie in stopping the river, but in how we choose to navigate it. Let me share a story from history, one that illustrates maintaining peace in the face of adversity. During World War II, amidst the Blitz, Winston Churchill faced unimaginable pressure. London was under siege, yet he stood resolute, a beacon of calm and determination. His response to these external events was not of panic, but of strategic calmness. Churchill's leadership during those dark times serves as a powerful testament to the strength that comes from choosing peace over panic. So how can we apply this in our lives? It starts with awareness. Recognizing the onset of panic or stress is the first step. Once we're aware, we can choose our response. Instead of reacting impulsively to a stressful work email, take a moment. Breathe. Choose to respond from a place of calm. But as we endeavor to maintain this inner tranquility, we're bound to encounter barriers. Stress, expectations, and external pressures constantly vie to disrupt our peace. These are the whirlpools along our river trying to pull us under. Consider stress the most common thief of peace. It creeps up silently, often disguised as just uh, another busy day. But let it accumulate and it becomes a barrier too high to see over. The antidote? It's simpler than you might think. It lies in the small moments of joy we often overlook. A morning without rushing, a walk in the park, the laughter shared with a friend. These are our weapons against stress. Expectations, both our own and those of others, can also disturb our peace. We strive to meet them, stretching ourselves thin only to find peace slipping through our fingers. The key to overcoming this barrier is acceptance. Accept that perfection is a myth. Celebrate progress, not just results. And most importantly, learn to set boundaries. It's okay to say no. It's okay to prioritize your peace. External pressures, societal, familial, or professional, often dictate how we should feel or react. But remember, you are the captain of your boat. You decide the direction. It's not about ignoring these pressures, but about facing them with a clear mind and a peaceful heart. To navigate these barriers, consider the following practical advice. Start your day with intention. A few minutes of quiet reflection can set the tone for a peaceful day. When faced with a challenge, ask yourself, will my reaction bring peace or add to the chaos? Choose actions that align with peace. And finally, embrace the art of letting go. Not every battle is worth fighting. Sometimes peace comes from knowing when to walk away, when to release what no longer serves you. In the grand tapestry of life, cultivating a garden of inner peace is an art that requires patience, practice, and perseverance. Today, I want to share with you some effective strategies for nurturing this serene inner landscape. These practices, Mindfulness, meditation, and gratitude are not just abstract concepts, but practical tools that can significantly elevate the quality of your daily life. Let's start with mindfulness. Mindfulness is the practice of being fully present and engaged in the moment without judgment. It's about appreciating the now rather than dwelling on the past or worrying about the future. Picture a busy morning. You're late for an appointment and traffic is at a standstill. The typical response might be frustration, a surge of stress. Ask the what if. Instead, you chose to notice the warmth of the sun through the window, the texture of the steering wheel under your hands, or the melody of a song on the radio. This shift in focus is mindfulness in action. A friend of mine, a seasoned executive in a high pressure job, started practicing mindfulness by simply observing his breath for a few minutes at the start of each day. Over time, he found this practice gave him a reservoir of calm to draw from in stressful situations, transforming his reactions and interactions at work. Next, let's delve into meditation. 
Meditation is often misunderstood as an esoteric practice reserved for monks secluded in distant monasteries. In reality, it's a deeply practical tool for clearing the mind and centering oneself. Meditation can be as simple as sitting quietly for a few minutes each day, focusing on your breath or a mantra, and gently bringing your attention back whenever your mind wanders. I once heard the story of a school teacher who introduced meditation into her classroom. Every morning, she and her students would spend five minutes in silence focusing on their breathing. Remarkably, this practice not only calmed the students, but also led to improved concentration and better overall classroom behavior. The peace cultivated in those five minutes permeated their entire day. Lastly, let's talk about gratitude. Gratitude is the act of recognizing and appreciating the good in our lives. It shifts our focus from what we lack to what we have, fostering a sense of contentment and peace. Maintaining a gratitude journal where you jot down three things you're grateful for each day can profoundly impact your outlook on life. A dear friend of mine faced a challenging period battling a severe illness. During this time, she committed to writing down something she was grateful for each day. This practice didn't change her circumstances, but it changed her experience of them. Despite the pain and uncertainty, she found moments of joy, beauty, and peace she would have otherwise overlooked. Incorporating mindfulness meditation and gratitude into your life doesn't require monumental changes. Start small. Dedicate a few minutes each day to these practices. The key is consistency, like seeds planted in a garden. The benefits of these practices grow and flourish over time with regular care. It's also important to approach these practices with patience. Cultivating inner peace is a journey, not a sprint. There will be days when mindfulness feels impossible, when your meditation is filled with distractions, or when finding even one thing to be grateful for seems like a Herculean task. On these days, remember that each moment of effort is a step toward a more peaceful you. As we weave these strategies into the fabric of our lives, we create a strong, resilient tapestry, one that holds its color and beauty even in the face of life's inevitable challenges. By cultivating inner peace through mindfulness, meditation, and gratitude, we not only enrich our own lives, but also bring a sense of calm, clarity, and compassion to those around us. So, I encourage you to embrace these practices to nurture your inner garden of peace. In doing so, you'll discover that even in the midst of chaos, a profound sense of serenity is always within reach. Let's embark on this path together, not as solitary wanderers, but as companions on a journey to discovering the boundless peace that lies within each other. In our life's endeavors, the thread of peace weaves a pattern so intricate and profound that its value can sometimes be overlooked in the pursuit of success. Yet it's precisely this element of peace that has the power to elevate us to heights of achievement and fulfillment we might never have thought possible. Today I wish to share with you how maintaining a sense of inner tranquility is not merely a luxury, but a cornerstone of personal and professional success. Consider for a moment the leaders, innovators, and thinkers who have shaped the world. What common thread ties them together? Beyond intelligence, beyond opportunity, lies a deep reservoir of peace. This peace allows for clear thinking, enables creativity to flourish, and fosters relationships that are both meaningful and productive. Let's delve into the story of a renowned CEO, no, not just for her formidable business acumen, but also for her remarkable ability to remain composed under pressure. In the whirlwind of corporate challenges, she found her solace in mindfulness practices. Each morning before the dawn of a bustling day, she would sit in silence, letting the tumult of her thoughts settle into a tranquil pool of clarity and intention. This daily ritual wasn't merely a retreat from the world, but a way to engage with it more fully with a heart unburdened by chaos. Her decisions were not reactive, but considered her innovations, not just profitable, but transformative. Her success was a testament to the power of peace. But how? 
You might wonder, can we cultivate this is essential quality in our own lives? The journey begins with mindfulness, a practice as simple as it is profound. Mindfulness teaches us to be present fully and unequivocally. It's the art of observing our thoughts and emotions without judgment, acknowledging them as passing clouds in the vast sky of our consciousness. This practice can start with something as basic as mindful breathing, focusing on the inhale and exhale, the life force that sustains us moment by moment. Meditation too offers a pathway to peace. It invites us to step back from the noise of the external world and find a sanctuary of calm within. Even a few minutes a day can alter the landscape of our minds, making us more resilient to stress and more attuned to the nuances of our lives. And let us not forget the power of gratitude. Gratitude anchors us to the present, to the myriad blessings that we often take for granted. It shifts our focus from what we lack to what we possess, from scarcity to abundance. The act of expressing gratitude, whether through a journal, in quiet reflection, or in direct communication with others, can transform our perspective and, by extension, our reality. Consistency and patience are the soil in which these practices flourish. Cultivating peace is an ongoing process, a garden that requires tending. The fruits of this labor, however, are boundless. It enhances our decision-making, not by providing easy answers, but by clearing the fog that obscures our clarity. It sparks creativity by allowing us to tap into a wellspring of ideas unclouded by anxiety. And it deepens our relationships, enabling us to listen more fully, empathize more deeply, and connect more authentically. I urge you to consider the role of peace in your own path to success. Reflect on the moments when tranquility has led to clarity, when serenity has paved the way for innovation. Embrace the practices that foster this peace and watch as they transform not only your professional journey, but the very essence of your life. As we journey forward, let us carry with us the knowledge that peace is not merely a backdrop to our achievements, but the foundation upon which they are built. Let it be the light that guides us through the storm, the anchor that holds us steady amidst the tumult. In the pursuit of success, let us never lose sight of the profound power of peace. In the midst of our fast-paced, often chaotic world, finding peace can seem like trying to grasp the wind, elusive and fleeting. We live in times where the pace of change accelerates relentlessly, where the noise of life drowns out the quiet whispers of tranquility. Yet it's in this very whirlwind of activity that maintaining peace becomes not just valuable but essential. Just consider for a moment the image of a majestic oak tree steadfast amidst the howling winds of a storm. Its roots delve deep into the earth, drawing strength and stability from below allowing it to stand tall and serene while chaos. This oak symbolizes the peace we seek to cultivate within ourselves, a peace that remains unshaken by the world's turmoil. So how do we plant and nurture our own roots of peace in such a stormy environment? The key lies in understanding that peace does not mean an absence of conflict or noise from our lives. Rather, peace is the ability to remain calm, centered, and joyous amid life's inevitable storms. It's about cultivating an inner sanctuary that external conditions cannot violate. One effective strategy for maintaining this inner sanctuary is to regularly disconnect from the chaos. In practical terms, this could mean taking a few moments each day to step away from electronic devices, to be alone with your thoughts, or to immerse yourself in nature. These moments of disconnection are not about running away from challenges, but about giving ourselves the space to breathe, reflect, and regain our balance. Another vital practice is mindfulness, paying attention to the present moment with acceptance and without judgment. Mindfulness teaches us to observe our thoughts and feelings as they are without letting them control us. It's about noticing the beauty of the world around us even amidst chaos and finding joy in the simple things. A child's laughter, the warmth of the sun, the smell of rain on the earth. That too, too, plays a crucial role in living peacefully. 
By focusing on what we are thankful for, we shift our perspective from what we lack to what we possess. This shift doesn't just brighten our mood. It changes how we interact with the world. A heart filled with gratitude is more likely to respond to challenges with kindness and understanding rather than frustration and anger. Maintaining peace also requires setting boundaries. In a world that often demands more than we can give, it's essential to know your limits. Saying, oh, might be difficult, but it's a powerful word that can protect your peace. Remember, every time you say yes to something that overextends you, you might be saying, oh, not peace. Now, I want to leave you with a call to action, a challenge to carry with you as you navigate the complexities of modern life. Commit to acting with peace in all aspects of your life. Let peace be your guide in decision-making, your constant companion amid adversity, and your light in the darkness. This commitment won't always be easy. There will be days when peace seems like a distant dream. But remember the oak tree, how it stands tall and serene, not because the storm doesn't touch it, but because its roots are deep. So too, let your roots of peace grow deep, as we conclude, I encourage you to take a moment and reflect on the peace you seek. Visualize it, feel it in your heart, and then step forward with the intention to embody it. Remember, in a world that often prizes chaos and noise, choosing peace is a revolutionary act. Be a beacon of tranquility in a turbulent world and watch as the world transforms around you. We started by defining what it truly means to act with peace in our daily lives. It's not about the absence of noise, challenges, or turmoil, but about choosing to respond to these with a calmness that comes from within. Like the story of the CEO who found clarity in the early hours of the morning, peace begins with our decision to engage the world from a place of inner tranquility. We then navigated through the barriers to peace. Stress, expectations, and external pressures, each vying for our attention, threatening to disturb our tranquility. Yet, as we learned, these barriers are not insurmountable. They are but lessons in disguise, teaching us the importance of mindfulness, gratitude, and the courage to say, oh no, when necessary. The strategies for cultivating peace, such as disconnecting to reconnect with ourselves, practicing mindfulness to live fully in the present, and embracing gratitude for the abundance that surrounds us are tools within our reach. Consistency and patience in these practices are the keys to unlocking a life of serenity. And let's not forget the impact of peace on success. We explored how maintaining peace enhances decision-making, creativity, and relationships. It's the silent yet powerful force behind the world's most influential leaders and innovators. It's what allows us to navigate the complexities of life with grace and conviction. Now, as we stand at the threshold of what's next, I urge you to carry forward the insights and strategies we've shared. Remember, the pursuit of peace is a journey that requires courage, commitment, and compassion. It's a path that leads not only to personal fulfillment, but to the enrichment of the world around us. Let this be your motivators. In an old world where turmoil and uncertainty often reign, your choice to pursue peace is a beacon of hope. It's an act of rebellion against the chaos, a statement that despite the storms, you choose calm amidst the noise. You choose silence. Surrounded by conflict, you choose understanding. Embrace this journey to peace with open arms. Let it transform you from within and watch as it touches the lives of those around you. Like ripples in a pond, your peace will spread creating waves of change that reach far beyond what you can see.